Hello, my name is Sander and welcome to a tutorial for the Inventory Master Asset. Uh, today I want to show you how to create an inventory system. Mm, you go to the master system here and create an inventory and storage. Uh, both of them working with the same script, so just create it. Uh, you see an event system and an inventory with some child appears and when you click on the inventory now here, here's the parent of all inventories and you see this is the inventory itself. So let me drag this a bit more in the middle and you see this here now. Uh, let me explain me now uh, what the script does. Player inventory means it's getting tagged as main inventory when you get in, in player or your game object um, your inventory has to be tagged as main inventory when your game object is uh, has this inventory as this main inventory and yeah you see there's the inventory settings uh, you can change the height the width of it um, how you like and change the size of every every slot so um the the icon size is later for the items in it. Um, I'm gonna create uh, create one so that you see this. Uh, you see you can change the size of the icon. Padding, um, yeah, padding is um, is later f maybe for for the design pretty important. But you see you can s uh, uh, make uh, the padding to the left of the inventory a bit m larger, like 30 pixels on the right as well, 30 pixels, and between the pixels itself on the x-axis, 20, and on the y-axis as well, 20. Uh, wait. So, top has mm, default uh, value uh, with 35 because of a tex uh, text value here. Um, you can change this back to 20 if you want, and bottom as well 20 so that you have ex exactly uh, the right uh, things. Ah, right, ah, right. Do this to 20 as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me say, uh, or let us say, we have stacking items. You can enable this and set the position of the um, of the number for the stacking items uh, on on the position where you want to have it, like maybe on the left or on the right side or on the bottom, how you like. And this is it for the um, for the properties for the inventory or for the settings for the inventory. So um, then you get this here, there are all items in it uh, which you got in the item database, I'm going to describe this later, and you can add the, um, the amount of it. Um, if you got some, the bottles, and this I know this, um, this is stackable to 20, and um, all m a bit more, and if you want to add a chest, which is not stackable I guess, oh no, let me take chesty, um, it's not getting this number on the right, the top side. Okay, let me go to the inventory design itself. Uh, you see this is uh, the script here for the design of the inventory and when you click on it uh, you got this option to create a title for it. Uh, let me say inventory and you see there's on the bottom, uh, on the back side of it, let me delete this back and create the default one. So, inventory you see uh, this appears now and you can change the font of it, you can change the position of it uh, how you like. A uh, zero is, uh, is, is exactly the middle of the inventory and uh, you can change the height of it how you like. Um, here are the font options uh, you can change it to every font you like. I got only Arial and some other small or, or s some other things. You can change um, the font style to normal bold or whatever, the size, the line spacing, rich text and the color of it like to white and a material if you want. Um, let me go deeper to the inventory design. Uh, if you got s uh, a, s a design for your inventory you can, change, uh, you can change this easily. Just search for your design but what you have to, um, to look for is when you got a texture folder and you have this, um, um, this texture you have to change the texture type to sprite 2D and UI. Otherwise it doesn't appear so um, 
you cannot select this later in um, in the inventory. Um, so let me change this. Now we got panel like like this, and take this back to white. Otherwise, you got another arm. Uh, let me take another one. Take this one and take this back to white because otherwise you got not the real color of it. And yeah, here are some other options for the image type. And we let this now like this. Uh, it is now. And let me change the background of the slot as well. I got there one as well. And take this to to white. And now this is how I like. And now. When you want to uh, change this now, you have to change this by the padding. 50, 50. Yeah, between is okay. On the bottom, have to be 50 as well. On the top, maybe 50 as well, so that is exactly in the middle of it. And now maybe we have to position the font uh, to zero and a bit more, a bit more higher, like this. Perfectly. So now it's looking kind of okay, but this is how the inventory works. Let me go for for the hierarchy. The title is this how how, how the the title uh, or the name for the game object is. It's for the title, and the title has the drag inventory script on it. The drag inventory script uh, is um, for the dra dragging ability later. Let me uh, wait. I disable this when I start. Um, wait, I start and enable this. Just so you see, I can drag this on there where the title is. If you do not want to drag your um, your inventory, just remove the component, and it's not working. So, okay, let me go now for the slots. Uh, the slots um, are working with the grid system, so. Um, the the slots are getting um, ordered uh, from the grid system itself. Uh, let me add one item and bottle or whatever ten and stay. So like this. And when you go now here, you see there are some other scripts for. Um, for the inventory, you see there are split item, show tooltip, consume item, and item on object. There are some um, important settings for it, and yeah, if you want to change like the the consumer item, uh, just go into the script. Um, yeah, this is um, how to create an inventory itself. Um, the next will be about creating an um, a tooltip for the inventory and yeah, see you to the next video. Bye.